Hi, it's Oscar. Welcome to another How with ServiceNow. In this episode, I'm bringing you something outside the box. How to display embedded knowledge base articles within a catalog item form or record producer form. I know I'm off boundaries. This is not best practice, but this was in a typical requirement I step into with a client. And here we go. So I have here a catalog item form and I have a drop down, of course, and we have two options. So basically what we want to do here is to allow the user to select an option and then display a knowledge base article. OK, so you can notice this is kind of a iframe over here. Uh, without actually any border. So that's why it looks so neat. Of course, we have the vertical scroll bar. So, however, we have this header gray part with this um, breadcrumbs and we have these buttons. And of course, we have the back button, which is out of the box when we're displaying a knowledge base article. And at the bottom, we also have who wrote this knowledge base article. And uh, we can leave a comment and then has the copy permalink and all this information, which is more on the footer. So the next thing we would like to do here is to remove this great part on top of the header of the knowledge base article, because we don't want users to click on these buttons or have these hyperlinks or have this other back button, right? So we want just to display the content of the knowledge base article. And for instance, if I select the other option, so I get displayed a different knowledge base article as well. And we have the same rendering. So rendering these knowledge base articles embedded in this form is very easy using two variables in this case to display these two articles. These two variables has to be the type of custom and then we'll have to create a portal widget and then have these um, knowledge articles displayed within an iframe. And that's what I want to show you next. So what we're going to do is to open to open the um, developer tools from Crown browser. And what we're going to do is to right click and inspect. So as we can see, this is actually the, the header or the gray bar on top of that knowledge article. And if we scroll up a little bit, we will find the iframe. So there is a portal widget that has an iframe um, contained within that um, widget. So this is the, the div tag of that widget. And then we have an iframe and I provided an ID to this iframe to make it easier to, to find. So, and we can see here that it is stretching the width of the main window or the main content for, for the catalog item. Um, I'm setting the border to zero. So that's why we don't see that ugly border on the, on the iframe that we are used to. And of course you can adjust the height of uh, how big or tall you want this iframe as well and the scroll bar um, vertical scroll bar will adjust to the content and finally we have the source which is the url to display this particular um, article all right so let's do the following so somehow we need to get rid of this header okay and the best way to do that will have to be, you know, uh, let me choose first the, the very first article and then we'll go back to the console and let's clear the console. And now using jQuery, 
So we are going to grab this element, this HTML element for the header. Okay, so remember, and I'll do it again, I will inspect. This is gonna give me this div with this particular class, row, navbar, navbar default, etc. So this is the tag or the HTML element we want to grab using jQuery. So what we're gonna do here in the console is to do exactly that. So we have given the name or the ID in this case for KB article embedded uh, one. And within the content, because this is an iframe again, so we're gonna get the iframe and then we're gonna get the content and then we're going to find the class that uh, whatever element has this class, right? So, and if we look at here, so we got that. So this is the class we're trying to look for. And this is gonna give us exactly the element we're looking for, okay? So if we expand here, we see that we have found that div element HTML that we want to get rid of, okay? So the easy way to get that rid of is if we append remove and then it's gone, okay? However, we're getting all this blank space on top of the title of this knowledge article, right? So we have to adjust there as well. So um, probably if we try to inspect again, we'll see that um, that particular blank space, you see the gray bar on top of it is nothing but the padding of this um, body within the iframe. So we can take a look that the padding is 40 on top so we can get rid of that as well, so that uh, we can remove that blank space and push the entire content of this knowledge article up by removing this padding. So that's also something we can do at a console. So in order to remove that padding, what we need to find now is the body within the iframe. So we need to modify here a little bit just to find the body and then use CSS for padding. And then we're gonna say um, zero value. And that's how easy we just removed that padding on top of the title of the article. We can easily check by inspecting again to find the body. And now we can see that there is no padding and it has been successfully removed. If we scroll down, uh, we'll find um, the footer part of the knowledge article as well, where we have these leave comments and, and the button to leave those comments. So we would like to remove this as well from, from here. In order to do this, let's first uh, try to find the element that is holding, for example, the copy permalink. So we can see here that we have two divs. One is article footer and article footer section. So we would like to remove this too, you know, because um, again, we have buttons that we don't want the user to be able to click on those buttons because this is embedded in the form and we don't want any, you know, uh, trouble or mislead the user on, so, on having so many buttons on the form. And now we just proceed to remove both of them. So we're gonna find the articles footer section and then remove. And then we're going to remove the copy permanent link as well. 
So we have removed everything here from the console. And now we can see how it looks without that great header, no footer. We just leave who created this knowledge article. And that's it. That's quite nice, isn't it? So how do we achieve this using the portal widget? That's the next step I want to show you. The configuration in the catalog item is very simple. So we have the select box and we have two custom variables. These variables are nothing but a widget, a, a service portal widget that I have created to display each individual knowledge article. So um, the very first option, which is for the email signature, uh, I have the classic div element that we always have in the body HTML template of the widget. And this is where I have the iframe and I have named this iframe with this particular uh, name. And um, we have the width to 100, no border and the height is 600 pixels. And then we put just the URL for this particular article. Notice that um, this div is the uh, element zero. This element zero is what we're going to make it work using the link part of the widget. So in the function, in this link function, actually we have access to the element. And basically uh, the element is an array. There are two elements in this element parameter. So that's why we're going to grab always the very first element, which is in the index zero. That's our div that we have here in the body. And this is where we are going to find the KB article embedded uh, one. So that's the name it was given on the iframe. And then we are going to um, basically um, call a function on the uh, load event so that we can find that particular div element for the gray bar or the header toolbar on top of the knowledge article. Then, of course, if we, um, if we get something there, we're going to remove it and then we proceed to modify the body by finding uh, the body element in the HTML within the iframe. And then we're modifying the padding to zero so we can get rid of that gap on top, right? So remember we had a padding of 40 and we're just removing that padding because we want to push the content of the article to the top. And finally, uh, again, we're looking to find those two footer sections, the footer section as such in the article footer, uh, which uh, contains as well some um, box and buttons and things we don't want the users to be able to click because we don't want them to lose focus on the content of the knowledge article and proceed with the rest of the uh, form to fulfill to fill up or populate with the information that is needed right so and this is how simple we can use the link function within the portal in order to access the dom html dom and use jquery in order to modify the dom on the fly right and we want to do it when when um, you know all the HTML has been loaded, right? So we want to do that when everything has been loaded on the browser. This is the other portal widget for automatic replies. We have the iframe as well. We have embedded number two. And basically, well, of course, the URL will change to display the second um, knowledge article. But on the link function, we basically have the same um, the same code, right? So we have the same lines of code 
in order to find the gray bar, toolbar, or header, we remove it. Then we find the body, we remove the padding, and we remove those two um, article footer sections from, from the iframe because we don't want to display um, any of that. So if I go back and reload, then we'll see the, the changes take effect when we are loading our portal um, form and then we can easily check right so the header is gone the footer is gone and on the second knowledge article as well the header is gone and that's it and well just remember this is something very off boundaries okay so this is not best practice but if you ever run across some sort of requirement like this to embed uh, something over there on the form, this is one of the ways you can do it using the portal widgets. And if you need to remove parts of uh, the HTML elements that you are displaying in this um, embedded um, form, right? So the way to achieve it is using the link function. Okay, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.